Honorable Dato Siri Sitja G. Alibina Pong. Honorable Distinguished Guests, Lady and Gentlemen. It's my great honor and pleasure on behalf of the Royal Government of Cambodia to be invited to deliver this speak at the second Asia Pacific Rainforest Summit being held at the International Convention Center in Bada Siri Bhagavan, Brunei Darussalam. I would like to take this opportunity to express my deep appreciation to the government of Brunei for hosting the Asia Pacific Rainforest Summit and for the support of the government of Australia and the Center for International Forestry Research, C4. This event bring together in government in the private sector, research, and civil society to discuss world-class knowledge and practices to slow, haul, and river rainforest loose, deforestation, and forest degradation in the easier Pacific region. Honorable distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in recent years, committed efforts have been made by the Royal Government of Cambodia to address deforestation, forest degradation, and the conservation of its natural resources. These conclude the establishment of the National Council for Sustainable Development, the drafting on an environmental code, and institutional reform to improve the management of our forest land and biodiversity resources. The Royal Man, the Government Royal of Cambodia has increased the number of eight protected areas from 23 to 42 that now cover approximately 5.6 million hectares. Effort continue to establish new protected area with marine coastal and terrestrial area having been identified. Cambodia protected area system will be connected by biodiversity corridor linking landscape within the country and the region, especially the ecosystem of our neighboring countries, Lao, PDO, Vietnam, and Thailand. The globally and regionally significant biodiversity value of Cambodia protected area or an essential part 
of our natural capital. Few places on the planet demonstrate so dramatically the fundamental link between people and nature. Biodiversity support the people of Cambodian ecological, economical, cultural, and spiritual. For many poor forest depend community protected area present food security and livelihood and a crucial component of their well-being and participation in society. Cambodia has prepared a national Red Plus strategy under the EG of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC. Cambodia Red Plus strategy reflects our political will and commitment to safeguarding our network of protected area and forest resources. The implementation of the Red Plus strategy will endeavor to address poverty reduction through the conservation and sustainable use of Cambodia biological, natural, and cultural resources and other ecosystem services. The strategic objective will also guide the Ministry of Environment and the Forestry Administration in the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fishery and assist non-government organization and development partner in developing concrete and appropriate measure and action to strengthen the effectiveness of protected area. The strategic document complement and is aligned with national goal and development plan as outlined in the National Sustainable Development Plan, the National Strategic Plan on Green Growth, the Cambodia Climate Strategy Plan, and the National Environmental Strategy and the Action Plan. The draft environmental code has been formulated by the Ministry of Environment in collaboration with line ministry, with NGO and the private sector. The environmental code aims to create an enabling legal and policy environment that will contribute to achieving environmental protection and sustainable development in Cambodia. The code will require legal provision to strengthen the conservation of nature resources and wildlife, build climate change, rely resilient, promote the use of renewable and clean energy, and uh, to build sustainable city with the capacity to address air and waste pollution. 
Honorable distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Cambodia look forward to collaborating with the global and Asia Pacific community, our regional neighbor countries, development partner, civil society, and the private sector. We are committed to building constructive partnership that will enable us to protect our natural resources, protected area, and biodiversity resources for the benefit of future generations. On behalf of His Excellency Sai Sam Al, Minister of the Environment of the Royal, Com Royal Government of Cambodia, I wish the greatest success to the Asia Pacific Rainforest Summit and uh, remain confident and summit will be successful and achieve its objective. I would like to say thank you very much for your attention.